Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. <laughs> and we are here today to share with you our update for Nightmare on Panning Street. This is a Fantastic Ladies Cloud project and it was created by the two of us. And this is what month three? I don't remember some two. two. Month two. Since the introduction of this year's project. And Valerie and I are excited because we both have a decent amount of things rolling out this month. So, yay. I'll leave all the information about the project down in the description box, including a link to Valerie's Instagram. If you have not checked her Instagram out, please do. Now, check me out. Check her out. She posts a lot. She posts, con I never post on my Instagram anymore. Like, I, I, I just don't have the time. It's either this or Instagram. So, I choose this. But you do, you you post everything there. I try. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go MIA for a few days, and then all of a sudden it's like, like five posts in one day. <laughs> Boom. Overkill. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. All right, so let's share our empties or things that are rolling out. So I will okay. have you go first. No, you go first. Oh, me? Because you always have me go first. Okay. Thanks. Okay, let's see. I actually have seven. Wow. And one I finished last night, which I'm super excited about. So for the Omen 666, use six pans in a palette six times. I am finally able to roll out this Hourglass palette. It's the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. And I wanted to use, of course, each of these shades six times. And I finally did that. Last month I had like, one finished i just had this one with the goal met of six uses everything else i like i think i had uh let's see three two one one zero <laughs> that's a beautiful palette oh it's so pretty i and, love that palette and the interesting thing is i find that like of course these are both like powder like powder powders right Sometimes they do, Hourglass does a strobe powder here instead of a highlighter. This is actually a true highlighter. This is their metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. So it's like an actual highlighter and it's gorgeous. Look at that. Holy moly. By the way, Ziggy's here. He's thinking about getting up on the bed. Hourglass makes some beautiful powders, blushes, powders, uh, highlights. They're beautiful. They are. They are. Absolutely. Come here, Zig. Come on, Ziggy. He's thinking about it. He's sniffing everything right now. <laughs> okay. The next prompt is child's play, something that has childlike packaging or theme. So I rolled in this adorable little blush. Well, not little, but blush by Too Faced, the Papa Don't Peach. And I rolled this in for 10 uses, and I finally did hit that mark. I had six last month, so just four more uses. I feel like this powder, it, it's like it's starting to get powdery, <laughs> for lack of a better term, but there's the blush. I'm doing a terrible job swatching, but whatever. So yeah, regardless, it's rolling out. I think that's a little bit challenging to, the wear, to wear because of the sheen. Didn't, didn't you, you have a blush. Did you have a blush in this project that's Jeannie? It's in another one, right? It's in another, yeah. It's the Ciate. I'm, I have a Ciate blush that has a little bit of highlight in it, but it's beautiful. I don't find it difficult to wear at all. Maybe, maybe you had, that. yeah, maybe you had one last month that you rolled out. Mm -hmm. Was it, uh, it was like a. Oh, I know what you're talking the about. The balm. It was the balm blush, right? I'm rolling it out this month, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I feel like we, because I just watched our video, yeah. rewatched it. And I was like, yes, yeah, I know she has one. I mean, I, I find them to be a little bit challenging just because they really do emphasize texture. So yeah. you have to be kind of careful with them. I like kind of like to mix this one with a, like a more matte blush. I don't need any more texture. <laughs> right. <laughs> Same. Decorated. Same. Okay, next prompt is a quiet place, a product that makes you speechless. So I rolled in this gorgeous eyeshadow by Davina, and I rolled it in for 10 uses. I had nine last month, so I just had to use it one more time. It's gorgeous. I mean. I don't know how 
many times you've swatched that now. And every time you swatch it, I'm like. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, I was actually really sad that Davina did not have a Black Friday sale because I was going to go ham on her eyeshadows. They're beautiful. They're so pretty. Where did Ziggy go? I saw him. He went behind the. Is he? um, Are there? I see him. Ziggy. Yeah. Right behind the curtain. Zigster. Whatever. Okay. Next. (laughs) Whatever. Whatever. I can. I mean, he's right there. I see him. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. He's ignoring me. Okay. Next prompt is Friday the Thirteenth, a summer themed item, and so I rolled in. Uh, rolled in a shadow from here and I actually have two uh, shadows from here prompts that are rolling out that I had this palette in for so the first one I had was nectar wait no I'm sorry nectar (laughs) and my goal was to finish this and I did this palette had a ton of pan so that rolled out I'm so glad go on that palette I know look at that now (sighs) then the second uh prompt for this palette was pet cemetery a graveyard item which was a nod to emily and max so i rolled in this shade here which was a crew and i finished that so now i'm working on this shade just to finish as like you know to use like the first shade i use on my eye looks but yeah i am super excited i have two pan two empty pans in here nice so awesome nice you were the one who like got me going on using this palette because you roll in that Lorac Pro and to, mm-hmm. you know, to finish things. So thanks to you, I now have two pans in that palette. Yeah, and you've got, I see the one you're working on and then the two on the on either side have considerable pans yeah. in those. Yep, these two. Yeah. Yep. And then this one I'm using in my inner corner every day. Mm-hmm. So it's getting good use. Next one is the gold. Not. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, next prompt is Annabelle, a pigmented or bold blush. This was a, uh, let's see, credit to Project Beauty, Jen over at Project Beauty. So I rolled in the Fenty Cream Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. Whoops, this way. In the shade Summertime Wine. And this was definitely a bold blush. I rolled this in for 10 uses. I had seven last month. This is a lovely formula, but this is a bold color. Woo! Wow, that's pretty. It's so pretty. But yeah, I mean, uh, what I ended up doing, and I think you and I talked about this, is I would just dab my... Hi, Sig. I would dab my makeup sponge in here, and that helped me not use, like, a ton of product. Well make it look like a clown on my face. So that was helpful. Okay, and I think the last product is for Fright Night, a red item or something vampire themed. So I rolled in by Bite Beauty, the, oh, what is this, matte? What is that? Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glacé. My goal was to finish. It's all done, baby. Nice. All done. So there's a little baby swatch. That's all I could get. So another Bite Beauty lip product finished in this project. Yay me. Yay. And I think I was telling you, this is the second Bite Beauty lip product I finished in this project. I think the last one I finished was last year. But the second one. Okay. Yay. Done is done. Done is done. Okay. That's all the stuff that I finished. Your turn. Yay. Good. Well, you had seven. I have four. Mm-hmm. I thought I had more. I could have sworn I had more in this project, but <laughs> no. But four is good. Four is good. So for the prompt seven, something that's still in its box. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> this is no longer in the box, but it no. was when we started. This is a peach and lily essence. Oh, yeah. And my goal was to finish half, and I have exceeded that well goal. Well past that. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's uh, easy to use. I use it twice a day, and I love this essence. It's very nice. So that's leaving. I need to try that. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later. Here's the bomb Mm. blush. This was in for Friday the 13th, a summer-themed 
Mm-hmm. Yep. That is summer theme. Mama! Lush. And I used this 13 times. Yes. Yep, that's the one. I, I have that blush, too. I think, is that a full size or is that a mini? It's a mini. Okay. But, you know, there's a lot of product in that, here. I mean, it looks like a lot of product. It looks like more like a oh. deluxe size, like like a fat deluxe size versus a, yeah. like a teeny tiny little mini. That's a yeah. decent, that's a decent size. Yeah. Yeah. 13 uses. It's beautiful blush. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. I love Very it. Very pretty. Very pretty. I also hit my 13 uses on my, this NARS. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the putty bronzer in Laguna two. Uh-huh. I used it 13 times. This is gorgeous. I told you. <laughs> Aren't you glad you bought it? I'm so glad I bought it. And this was in for Christine, by the way, something that you went, well, to, the you store. went to the store. It took a special trip to the store to buy. That's not really true. I was, I was at Sephora and I saw this and bought it. I didn't actually go to Sephora to buy this, but you didn't drive there it. being like, I need that NARS bronzer. <laughs> no, I wasn't like NARS, NARS, <laughs> NARS, <laughs> but I saw it and it went into my cart, like into my little bag faster but, than yeah. Me. And I'm very happy. This is lovely. Do you have out, do you like, have a lot of cream bronzers? I I have some in pro in other face palettes. Oh, okay. And then I have one by um, Westman Atelier, the little little sample. Guy. Oh no, I finished that one. You did. I was gonna say you don't have that I one anymore. That one. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't have that one but anymore. But we we so both have the. Like, I think we both have the Tarte one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm working on a on a one by Laura Geller right now. That's in a cream trio, a blush highlighter. Oh, okay, I'm okay. That one right now, but this will be showing up again soon. It's good stuff. It's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the fourth empty that I have is for Lost Boys, something that makes your face not look dead. <laughs> and I finished these three. Three peels. These Yay. are the alpha beta peels by Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, this was a gift from Jen, Project Beauty. Mm -hmm. She gifted these to me, and they're lovely. I I just I really enjoy this product. Product. So that's my fourth empty or goal hit. Exciting! You should Yay. you should do this. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> All right. Now for the things we are working on. You want to keep going? Sure. I'll keep going. For Jaws, a water-themed product, I have my Laneige Water Bank Essence Hydro Gel Ooh. Moisturizer. And? This is a full size. And I'm about halfway through this product. Do you love Lovely. it? Lovely. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love these gel water gel moisturizers my face they soak in really quickly and my face loves them i finished the neutrogena hydro boost that mm -hmm. was really good too so, so then to so then question do you prefer from because you and i both love belief moisturizers do you prefer the aqua bomb or the moisturizing bomb the aqua bomb mm. moisturizing like bomb moisturizer. mm. yeah yeah i like the aqua bomb this smells so good too. All these Laneige products, face products, they all smell so good, like fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. I love, love the, I love their stuff. Love it. I love it. Love it. Okay, I rolled this in last month for the Blob, which is a putty or cream product. I don't have the credit, the credit to people here. I forgot to write that down. So. Oh, here I can tell you what that is because I think I just. I think that's in my next section. The blob. Oh, I thought I did. Hold on. I'll find it. You keep talking. This is the MAC paint pot in Bougie. Oh, my God. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more about it. It's beautiful. I have used it uh, only four of 13 times. Mm -hmm. And I'm 
just putting it all over my lid. Yeah. And it gives me this beautiful, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a wash of really cool color, like a really neat <gasps> color. It's so pretty. It's Yeah, it's really pretty. And so it looks green or red or. And you said you use it on its own, right? I use it on its own. Uh, sometimes if I get it too far into the inner corner, I'll put an inner corner over it, you know. Mm -hmm, but I've mm -hmm. been using it basically on its own. It's lovely. It's so pretty. It is. I'm so happy I have it. Oh. So that's going to be in for a little bit longer. That, again, is for the blob. That was credited, credited to Mitch Gooday. Ah, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For the exorcist, something that makes your hit, head spin with delight, I, again, rolled in, uh, last month, I rolled in this, uh, what is it, R.M. R.E.M. Beauty. R.E.M. Mm -hmm. R.E.M. Beauty. R.E.M. Beauty? Mm-hmm. Oh, and then there's R.M.S. Beauty. Okay, this is R.E.M. Beauty. <laughs> I thought you were confusing it with the band. I was like, it is R.E.M. Beauty. No. I was not. I was thinking RMS Beauty. This is a liquid eyeshadow in the color Lab Coat. Mm. This has a kind of a peachy flip. It looks sort of pink here, but it's actually That's peachy. So and I've used this five of 13 times. Gorgeous. Very pretty, yes. These are both new products for me, so happy to use them. Um, okay, for Dracula, which is something that sucks the life out of you, I have this water stain. Still in. YSL. I have used it six of 13 times, so I'm not halfway there. Okay. I'm very mixed about this product because it's oh. difficult to apply. And it doesn't smell very good. Not that it smells like it's gone off. It smells like paint or something like there's a chemical <clears throat> smell i very feel cool. like there's another ysl product that's kind of like that and i it's in my other drawer I don't... yeah it, it it smells like a like some kind of chemical or something it's... yeah i can't get to it but i i know what you're saying i have the tatouage mm -hmm. lip products which is also a staining product. It's so pretty, though. It's really it's pretty. But I don't remember them smelling good. I, but I, it's been a while since I've used it. It's a really great color on my lips. And the stain is not obnoxious, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a, so when it rubs off it, you still have that nice color. It's it's a nice product, but, but I just can't get over that smell. It's Are you going to keep it? I don't know. Hmm. I'll, I'll finish out this pro this project and then decide because the yeah. truth is I don't know if I'd ever pan it I'd ever use it up but... then there's no point in keeping it yeah it's too bad mm -hmm. I'm glad I only bought one I will say that mm -hmm. but I only bought one say hi to Valerie hi Six. sixter so handsome I know such a handsome such a boy. cute boy Yes. Oh, he wants me to pet him. <laughs> He's a handsome boy. You know how, like, whenever cats are like, pet me, you, you, they like nudge, he's nudging me to pet him. And he's purring so loudly. I can't hear him now, but I heard him on a video of yours the, the other day. Yeah, he was purring loud. Yeah. Like you could hear him. You can I my microphone is probably picking him up. Even though you can't hear him, it'll probably be in the video. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Oh, he's fiddling with my straw. Okay, anyway, back to the project. <laughs> my next item is for us, which is a dupe. This is the Essence Lash Princess. This is supposed to be a dupe for Lancome Lashy Doll, mm -hmm. Sarah. And this is my second month on this. Uh, this will be out next month. Yes. Full time. So we'll, we'll, a lot. what was that? You said you like a lot? Doing it. And have you tried the Lancome Lashy Doll? 
uh, a long time ago, but I'm, I'm going to try. Actually, I'm going to pull it in next. To, to see so if I, it's an actual dupe? Okay. Because yeah. I'd be curious about that. Ziggy, yeah. stop it. <laughs> ah! He just knocked over my my light. I and haven't it, heard him licking your... He was just about to do it, and then the, the thing fell over. So, will you be rolling in a new mascara January 1st? Because I think you go through the end of the year, right? And then you roll in a new mascara? I'll be rolling one in February 1st. Okay. Got it. Got it. This will, yeah, this will go till the end of January. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yep. I have a cat out of my head. Ziggy. Sister. He's like, I'm busy. Leave me, leave me be, woman. Yeah. I'm busy. I'm not paying any attention to you. <laughs> he is, he does what he does. That's what he wants. I think he's going to go nap. Yeah, he's going to plop it. There he goes. <laughs> I love his, like, multicolored paws. His toe beans. They're pink and, and black. Yeah. So cute. Anyway, okay. Enough about the cat. Next. Make a nice, make a nice eyeshadow trio. <laughs> right. That's right. Gray, white. Well, quad, gray, white, pink, and black. Yeah. He's a cutie. For the strangers, I have, uh, the prompt is something no, that's no longer welcome in your collection, and mm -hmm. that is this blasted spray. <laughs> blasted. <laughs> you can blasted. say this fucking spray. Shithead. That's where I am. Well, you've make, you're making progress. Wow. Yep. Maybe it has, maybe it has a false bottom and it's not like all the way down to the bottom. Let's hope. Maybe it ends. Up there. <laughs> all right. I anyway, we're, we're it's it's getting there. So what we're is it? Yeah, we we'll tell the people what it is. Oh, sorry. It is the It's the blasted spray. spray. <laughs> it's the Ren pillow spray. Mm. It's this crap that, you know, you spray it on your pillow. It's supposed to make you sleep better well i haven't been, not been sleeping well for about four days this doesn't work does it have scents does it have like a scent profile mm. or is it just their sleep no. mist just a sleep mist pillow mm. spray spray yeah no there's nothing here oh, okay whatever 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 three more whatever <laughs> Three more. Okay. Hereditary, which is something that a relative used to use. I <clears throat> told the story about my aunt Joanne last month, mm -hmm. and uh, she used to surround herself with Lancome and L'Oreal and Clinique. And so I rolled in this Clinique Pop lipstick. Ah, that's right. I forgot about the Clinique Pop lipstick. Yeah, this is in the color. Oh, I can't see it. Love, Love Pop. Love Pop. Yep. Love Pop. Okay, so I need to know what you think about the lipstick the lipstick it's beautiful the, the formula is amazing yes 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 so yes yes opaque and creamy but not slidey like it doesn't slide off at all my problem right now is that it's too pink for this it's pretty pink it's a very pretty color it's just not the right time of year so it's a little challenging for me mm -hmm. right now um i have used it four of 13 times okay so, so great, nine to go Okay. So is that a matte? Is that a matte formula? No, it, it's the. Just okay. Um, no, yeah, it's not matte. I love those Clinique lip, like Clinique Pop lip pop. All of them. I, all I the just, formulas. Now at Christmas time, I'm, there was a set of four, and I just love the packaging. The packaging is adorable. <laughs> but that—that's your first time trying the Clinique Pop lipsticks, right? Mm -hmm. I love them. They're so good. And now I have four. And now you have four. Well, I can send you some because I have a lot more than that. No, thanks. I have all these minis. No, thanks. <laughs> Fright Night, a vampire-themed item. I rolled in this bite lipstick. I thought you were going to hit your goal on it. I thought I was too, but look where <sighs> I am. <laughs> wow. 
And you were wearing the heck out of that. I'm going to lower it to the, where the plastic starts. So that's really how much I have. Yeah, I was wearing it a lot and mm. I just didn't make it. So. Well, you had a lot last month and I was like, okay. When you said, I think I'm going to finish it next month. I was like. <laughs> I should have worn it right now, actually, but. You still wouldn't have hit your goal. Yeah, that's pretty. It's, it's beautiful. This is the color maple. And it's my the last little mini bullet lipstick that I have. I cannot believe that. From By Beauty? By Beauty. That's crazy. I think I have like at least eight minis still. No, I've gone through all of mine. Now, the others, I have the regular bullets and the crayons. I have that. I mean, I have five right here. Minis. One I'm using. And this is not even my back stock. <laughs> Actually, this is a multi-stick. That's not a lip product. L pepper, rhubarb, radish, gazpacho. <laughs> gazpacho. Gazpacho. Anyway, I'm very impressed. That's your last one. And you're almost done with it. Yes, almost. Ooh -hoo. Well, let's just stare at Ziggy. Oh my gosh, look, he's got his eyes covered. So cute. Um, I mean, seriously. I feel like he knows we're talking about him because his ears were back and now they're front. Yeah. And my last item that I'm currently working on is for the Hills Have Eyes, this is an eye product. Mm -hmm. And I rolled in another one of these guys from my Lorac Pro. I rolled in Garnet, which mm -hmm. I have used some. I'm trying to hit pan. Oh, it looks like this you have pan. One. No, I don't. No. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. No, it's just It's just a, we a shadow. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Time. This is the one I pr had previously in the mm -hmm. in the project. I'm working on this guy. Next month I'll have pan in that. There's not you a will. lot of shadow in here, and the pans are shallow. And they're powdery. Next, and they're powdery. This is mm -hmm. old. So mm -hmm. I got to get a move on on it, and then and then I'll be closer, even closer. Yeah, you'll. I love. I love looking at that palette because it's got those. Like empty pans and then pans removed. It's like a hot mess palette. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wreck. And I think at one point, then, didn't you have dates in one of those? Or was that in another palette? Where like you dated whenever palette. you finished it? Okay. Yeah, again, I thought, I saw a YouTuber that had that done. Yeah. Like, oh, that's cool. And, that... and then you didn't keep up with it? I don't, you know, I don't finish shadows very often. Same. I hit a lot of pan, but I don't mm -hmm. finish them. So that might be something I want to address into 2023. Mm -hmm. Actually finishing hint, hint. something. Hint, hint. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's what you got. Items I am still working on. So I am working on three, four, six items. The first one is Jaws, a water themed item. And so I rolled in. This is so close by the bathing garden. It's their whipped soap and charm and ruin. And that's all that's left. That's what you used to shave. That's what I used to shave. Now, if I had not, if I had had hot water. That would be done. A week. This probably would be done. I would have found a way to use it. I would have found something to shave. <laughs> I would have shaved my legs twice in that time period. But. One more, I think I said one, one more use and it should be done. One or two, depending on what I shave. <laughs> Probably TMI, sorry. Next prompt is Imitable Horror, a purchase that haunts you. So for me, that I brought in this Confession Lipstick by Hourglass, only because this, so many of these went bad on me. And this is a shade If Only. I rolled it in for 10 uses. I am up to seven. So I had two uses last month. So pretty color. This is kind of a, a mixer shade for me right now. I mean, it's pretty, but when I put it on my lips, it's kind of same color as my lips. So yeah, I, I, I actually mixed it today with Bite Beauty Movember, like a really dark purple, and it turned out really pretty. 
beautiful color. I just bought it, actually. It's so pretty. This is definitely a Valerie color. But I bet you this is way lighter on you than it is on me. Probably. Yeah. Okay, next prompt is the Invisible Man, something that erases. So I rolled in my, let's see, Laura Mercier Secret Brighten Brightening Powder. Laura Mercier. Yeah, I said that right, right? <laughs> Not Mercier. Anyway. Not Mercier. No. So my goal is to finish this. I use this to set my under eye, my concealer, and I did not mark this, but which I probably should. I'll mark it after this update, but I made actually really good progress on this. I'm down to here. So pretty consistent with use, maybe a little more than last time. So yeah, I don't think it'll be done next update, but we'll see. Maybe one more month. Maybe two, February. Two Maybe February. Maybe. Candyman, a product with such a long name that it takes you five times to say it, or a candy-related product. That prompt cracks me. It's so funny. So the, the one with the long name, that prompt was credited to Jen at Project Beauty. And then the second half of the prompt, the candy-related product, was credited to Peely. We said Pilo last time. That's because I had her name spelled. We had her name spelled wrong in the prompts, but it's Peely. That's her name. So for I decided to go with the first half of the prompt, and I rolled in this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex. And I rolled this into finish. Now, I just recently started using this, so I'm just to, like, here. I don't know if this will be finished by the next update, but again, February, potentially February. I have a ton of those. <laughs> so, that's why I brought it in. It's like, I need to use these. I have so many. Yeah. And every time I see a deal on one, I'm like, buy it, buy it. But next year, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that at all. Because it's always on sale. Always. You can always hour. wait until... Black Friday and get it on sale and then get a big box that has a free one, like a big one and a small one in anyway. So no, mm -hmm. we're not going to do it. Nope. We're not going to do it. Next prompt is Lost Boys, something that makes your face look not dead. <laughs> so I rolled in Benefit Hula Bronzer. I rolled this in for 10 uses. Now I thought I originally had rolled it in for 20, but in, I watched the video again, our last update, and it's 10. So I am up to six. So I am also working on my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to finish. And I had another bronzer that I was working on, I thought. I think the one in the Hourglass palette I used, I had to use a couple times. So this one didn't get the 10 uses, but it'll be rolled out next month for sure. That's when you want to finish next year, right? Mm-hmm. I think you and I talked about this last month because you were like, you might be able to have three bronzers out next month, next year. And I was like, maybe. But I, and I was skeptical. But now I'm like, it's going to happen. <laughs> You've got a good pan in there. Yeah, it's a pretty big pan. And I think whenever I rolled this in, it was just where the, you know, where the, the darker part of the pan is. Mm -hmm. So you can tell how much I've used. I'm also mixing this with a... Tom Ford bronzing powder, which is way too orange for me, but it's in my turn and burn project. And it's like, I just kind of mix the two pans together and use it up that way. But it's a lovely bronzer. I also have Hula Light, which I don't know when I'm ever going to use it because so far I haven't needed it. Now I frankened those last year. Hula and Hula Light. Mm -hmm. And mm. it was beautiful. You should take a little bit from each and try it and see what you think. Ooh, I like that exactly. idea. I will have to try that. Great idea. Especially if you need a Franken prompt <laughs> or probably for a Franken prompt. <laughs> okay, last prompt is Rosemary's Baby, something new in your collection. So I rolled in a Tree Hut Sugar Scrub in Frosted Cranberry. Again, if I had had hot water, I would have had better use on this. I didn't have hot water for what, like, Ten, eight days, nine days, nine yeah, days, I think. Like that, yeah. Sunday to the following Tuesday. Nine eight, days. Nine, yeah. Nine days. 
So anyway, here's how this is looking. So about a third of this is gone. I'll have this done by the next update. I was also working on a Scentsy sugar scrub when I rolled this in, so it didn't have a full month's use. So those are the prompts I was working on. Okay, you want to continue with what you're rolling in? Sure. Okay, so I rolled in a bunch of new prompts to me, well, to us, because these are new prompts to the project. The first one is Babadook. Something with a weird name, this is credited to Leah and Bo, or an item that is hidden in the dark, deep, dark recesses of your drawer. <laughs> and that was credited to Mitch Kuday. I freaking love that. That's a great prompt. <laughs> so I went into the deep, dark recesses of one of my lip drawers and pulled this out. This is a product that I got from Yes Style forever ago, and I've kind of been wanting to use it, and I... It always gets passed up. This is by the brand Ramond, and it's spelled R-O-M ampersand N-D. So before I looked online, Valerie and I were surmising that it was, what was it again, Valerie? Rom and, Rom and N-D. <laughs> Rom and N-D. <laughs> that is not right. It's Ramond. And this is their... Let's see. Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Fig Fig, number six. And I'm, this is like a, it's supposed to leave a tint on your lips. And it, whenever, after I swatched it, I did have a, a, a little bit left on my, my hand. So here's what the shade looks like. And it does not dry down like a matte lipstick would. So this kind of reminds me a little bit of your YSL. Mm-hmm. So I cannot wait to try this. Cannot wait. I bought it forever ago and I'm rolling it in for 10 uses. Such a pretty color. I hope it's good. Me too. Okay, next prompt is carry an item that's, that is a, that's a sin not to have in your collection. So I decided to go with like balmy lip products in general and Bobbi Brown lip products because I love both of them. I think it's a sin not to have a Bobbi Brown lipstick because they're beautiful. So I rolled in this Bobbi Brown Nourishing Lip Color in Blue Raspberry. Oh. <laughs> this is beautiful. Here's the shade. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Great color. And I mean, I've, I've already used this a bunch. You can see. I mean, there's still a decent amount in here. But I freaking love this color so much. If Bobby Brown ever goes away, like does away with this color, I will buy more. I'll buy a backup because I love this. So I'm rolling this in just for 10 uses just to get some use on it. I'm kind of wanting to eventually finish this. So getting 10 uses, I feel like will help kind of move it down a little bit. So it's not so daunting <laughs> to finish. You have a lot in there. I mean, you've used a lot, but you still have a lot in there. There's still a lot. How much how many does this have in here? I think it's two. It's only 2.3 grams. So, I mean, a MAC lipstick is three. I was trying. I, th I have a Bobbi Brown lipstick that I'm working on right now, but I think it's in my purse. Mm. A ton of, of product in there. Is it one of the crushed lip colors? I think so. Oh, those take forever to use. They take forever to use. You like put it, I mean, how many times do you have to put it on for the needle to move? <laughs> Don't tell me that. I'm sorry. It's the truth. I used one in the summer. Wait, was it summer? I can't remember now, but it was, and it was like a red, red toned shade. And I was like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. Why, 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 why? Okay. This next prompt was really hard for me to find an item for. Valerie can attest to this because I was like, help me. Demon Slayers. Something you first thought was a demon to use, but now always has your back. This is credited to Courtney Cullen. Courtney, this is a Sorry. hard prompt. Hard, hard prompt. I oh, look at the midnight. He's Hi, clawing. midnight. He's clawing at you. <laughs> what you doing, midnight? Oh, look at that face. Hello. Hi. Hey, Look doing? at those ears. <laughs> what you doing, Midnight? Oh. 
So Do you have food fine. around you? Is that why he's pawing at you, or is he just no, being? No, he just wants to. Be he just healthy. wants. Yeah. He just yeah, wants your here. love and attention. Yeah. He's so sorry. Cute. No, we can keep. We can keep him in here because you know we're all about the animals here. We'll keep him here. Yeah. As long. Stop. As long as he doesn't drive you crazy. Sorry. He's not going to drive me know. crazy. I think he's cute, and he's not licking my face. Okay, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm Courtney, continue. this prompt is so hard. It's so hard. And Courtney. I think I, Courtney. <laughs> I think the main reason why is because all the things that you were thinking of and that you suggested and then the things that I had thought of, like I either already have them projects or they're coming up in projects or something, or I'm already working on stuff that were late. Like it was like too hard. So I decided to go with an item that I don't even have in my inventory yet. I got this during Black Friday, but I freaking love this. So it is this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie, Ma Vital Veggie Mask. And this is a demon to use because it's a mask. I mean, masks are hard to use. They're a pain in the butt. But this is 100% to me worth it. It's so amazing. I love it. It's hydrating. It's nourishing. My face loves it. My skin loves it. So I'm rolling this into finish. It's going to be in here for a little while. Now, you have this in your Fifty Shades of Green. I do. And I just use it. Do you, what are your thoughts on it? You and I have very different I, skin types. I like it a lot. I'm not sure that I would say I love it, but I like it a lot. It's that. very, very um, uh, hydrating mm. on my skin. Yeah. That's why I that's love why, it. That's why you love it so much, yeah. I think Deb B is the one who suggested that to us, and she said it smelled like a lettuce on your face. I don't smell that at all. So I to think me, I like think Danny thinks it smells like a like lettuce on her face. Oh. I think Deb <laughs> loves the way it smells. Uh, okay. I don't think it smells like lettuce either, but it's green. It does smell green. So if you associate yeah. lettuce with green, yes, that, that see how I could see the yeah. the kind of the way that you would, your brain thinks, but it smells. This is, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. To me, it like. just smells very clean and fresh and w like watery, like a spring, I spring water. I love the way it smells. I do too. It doesn't. So uh, yeah, this is going, coming into finish and I need to put it back you, in the box so I remember. We that on Ulta, but they're not carrying it on Ulta anymore. You had to go to the Elemis website. Right? Yes. So during the hall, during Black Friday, I was going to purchase this. I think they had a day where they had Elemis half off or something. Like it was like all Elemis half off. I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy that Vital Veggie mask. So I went and they didn't carry it anymore. I was like, what? So then I panicked and I was like, I need to find more. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the perfect time because Black Friday. So I went onto Elemis's website and I think they were having a 30% off sale. So I grabbed two of these. It's lovely. I'm excited. So that's it rolling in for. I Yeah, you're right. I finished it really quick because I, I loved it. I thought it was so nice. Yeah. Okay. Next prompt is the changeling. Something that bounces from project to project. This was credited to Donnie DePattis. De, DePattis? I probably butchered your name. I'm so sorry. So I'm rolling in a cream highlighter. This is by ColourPop. I just rolled this out of pro, uh, Partners in Cream. This is in the shade Smokin' Whistles. And you can see I have a nice size pan there and I'm starting to wear away like the outer parts of this. So I'm rolling this in just, just for, I think, what are I, oh, 30 uses. I said 30 uses on this because I don't really have another cream highlighter that I'm working on that's in a project so I was like well let me go ahead and use this 30 times and we'll see what this looks like after 30 uses we'll see I would like to eventually finish that but it's going to be a while those take forever to finish next prompt is the conjuring you don't know what possessed you to purchase this item so I kind of know what possessed me the purchase to purchase this item but I shouldn't have by MAC, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Hot Damoiselle de Avignon. <laughs> okay. Challenging word name to say. 
Hot damn Wazelle de Avignon. So here is the beautiful. This is the reason why I bought it. Look how gorgeous this is. But this is not a highlighter on me. This is a blush topper. Aha. Uh -huh. It's too gold. Too, it's too gold. It's too dark. I mean, oh, yeah. you see, like, that is much more of a blush on me. Now, with somebody with deeper skin, this would be a beautiful highlighter. But on me, it is a blush topper. So I should have just bought the other shade and not this one, too. I think I had FOMO. So I want to use this. I want to get some use on this. I want to use it 10 times as a blush nice. topper. Nice. Next prompt is Nightmare on Elm Street. Something that you have to cut into to finish or to use. So we had this prompt last year, but we changed it. Uh, I can't remember what the prompt was now. I think it was a dream. A, something you dream about a, purchasing. A, a, yeah, a uh, yes, exactly. Something because I was like, it's a nightmare. Anyway, something that you have to cut into to finish to use. Okay, this was another one that I was like, Valerie, help me. <laughs> I don't know what to bring in. What do you have to cut into? So we thought of like, sh you thought of sheet masks, lip pencils, or, or eye, eye pencils that you have to sharpen. Yeah. What was your other idea? You had a couple of them that were good. So to help other people. Something with, me. with hard pan. Something with hard pan. You have to cut into that. To scrape it off. Loosen mm -hmm. the hard pan. Scrape it off. Yeah. I, I, it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. It was at the last minute that I thought of something like cutting a mask open to get to the mask. Or like eye masks that are in, that are in single use packets. Right. Or... Anything like that that's in, like, packets that you have to cut mm -hmm, open. Mm -hmm. You can tear them, but you can Oh, them. like the Dr. Dennis Gross pads would yeah. have worked there. Okay. Yeah. So I went with a lip pencil. Now, this is what I am trying to finish. This is by ColourPop. It's the shade Dopey. And here's the... No, there is not much left in here. That's all that's left. Wow. So it goes down to about here. So I want to finish this. So I'm rolling this in to finish. We're going to get this sucker done. There's the color. I did wear it. I did put it on today for this lip, lip look. So rolling that in to finish. Last prompt. Well, it's sharpening. I mean, you are cutting into the wood to sharpen it. Yeah, so you're it, using it a sharp blade to cut into. This is not wood. This is like a plastic. But most of the time it is a, a wood or a wood like. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. All right. Last prompt. One missed call, which is a movie I have not seen. Something you almost missed out on. And that was credited, credited to Leah Embo. So this palette, this was actually found for me by Danny. And this is the Pat McGrath Labs Bridgerton Collection. It's Diamond of the First Water is the sh name of the palette. And here is this gorgeous palette. Look at how pretty that is. This shade here, this like special shade. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It's not doing it justice, but it's so pretty. I wonder if I, you're going to have to hold the phone while I do this over a wet base. Makeup playtime. You know, that would be great on like New Year's Eve, that shadow. Ooh, you're right. Really pretty. There we go. Wow. So I'm rolling that palette in for five uses. It doesn't matter if I just nice. use one shade or all the shades in a look, just five uses out of the palette to roll this out. So those nice. are my seven prompts. That was a lot, I know. Good. That's good, though. You got some good stuff in there. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited. Yay. Like, here's one I'm really excited about. Two, and then three. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to finish... That lip liner. So you have four. You want to hear about my four? Yes. Yes. Midnight says, we have four. Midnight. We have four. <laughs> He's sitting 
sitting here being a good boy. He is. Okay, I'm going to start with one missed call because I also rolled that one in. Oh, okay. That product that you almost missed out on. And I'm going to roll in this perfume by Jo Malone. I almost missed out on it because I almost didn't buy it. <laughs> and who told you to buy and it? I, you did. We were at the CCO in Dallas and I smelled this. It's so good. I don't remember what the spice notes are on it. I don't remember either. And I don't even, I think we, you looked at it on your phone because I mean, they didn't have it in store, but then you sprayed it on yourself and you walked, we walked around the store because we were still shopping. And then like 15 minutes later or however many, however long, much longer you smelled it. It still smelled freaking amazing on you. And I was like, you need that. It's called Scarlet Poppy. I'd Mm -hmm. never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And it was there at the CCO. And so I grabbed it. So I'm going to use this 13 times. It's the right season for this right now. And it's in a beautiful, it's in a beautiful red bottle. It's a beautiful red bottle. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. Lovely. Mm -hmm. The next prompt I rolled in is for Triangle. Uh, and by the way, I have also not seen One Missed Call, and I've not seen Triangle either. So Same. some of these movies kind of get on them. This is a, a never-ending product. For me, it is eyeliners. I cannot finish an eyeliner to save my life. This is true. This is an eyeliner by Mark Jacobs, and it's actually a glitter eyeliner. <laughs> and it's really pretty what is the color okay. it's not black no hmm. it's called glitz all might glitz all night excuse me i was like Mike. it's a purple <clears throat> Ooh, i want i can't it's wait to see valerie very... panning a purple eyeliner Ooh, that's pretty it's not a bright purple it's just a real subtle purple but it's got this glitter to it it's a beautiful so... mauve purple it is beautiful Mm-hmm. I've used it some, and I want to use some use it again thirteen times on this okay. guy. It's pretty. I I should have put this in for Christine because I did drive to the store to buy this when oh. I saw it come out. Oh, you did I went to Sephora, and I swatched them because I thought they were beautiful, mm. and I bought it. Bought it right there. Done. Done. For the movie Get Out, I want to finish my Sunday Riley Luna oh. sleeping oil. I love this oil so much. Mm-hmm. And I'm about halfway. You can't see with this bottle, but I'm about halfway. And I've gotten sidetracked uh, in using it by another oil. And I need to get back to this guy. So I want to get this out. I want to finish it up. What oil is sidetracking you from that? It's an herbivore oil that's in a different project is it and i really need to use that during the day it's the emerald oil oh right emerald okay that's good is that the bakuchi that's not the bakuchi oil one is it okay no it's called emerald and it's in another project and i need to use this at night and Mm -hmm. use the other one during the day and i've been using that one all the time because it's also a beautiful oil but i do want to finish this so that's that's gonna that's going to start being used now. Okay. And my last new item is for the prompt Insidious, mm. which is something you dreamt about purchasing, and that would be this beautiful Charlotte Tilbury mm. quad that was just released during the holidays. So pretty. I, like you, want to use the palette five times. And you got the yeah. dark medium, medium to dark? Medium to dark, yes. Yeah. Because I got light to medium. Yeah, and, this is medium to dark. And I remember I swatched that one and the light one and showed them to you. And you're like, I don't know. And then I think you found it in store, right? You saw it in your store and swatched it. And yeah, you decided to go with that in- one. Yeah. This is terrible, terrible swatching. I had terrible swatches earlier. Wait, what's happening That's here? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I need to see that again. Okay, this is one. So Mm -hmm. this is one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. 
four. <laughs> Makes so much no sense. Is, it didn't make sense no for you to go to a cross and down. It's yeah. a beautiful palette. It's a beautiful palette. And I'm, I'm going to put it here so you don't get the glare. So it's, um, yeah, five times, five times for the palette. Just five times in general. Five times. Yeah, just five times in general, trying <clears throat> to get a little use out of something that's new. Yeah, instead of that's awesome. Old. So that's for Insidious. And that's it. That's awesome. I think we have some awesome stuff coming in. We do. And I was going to show you, and here's I'm, that here's that uh, juicy lip tint after I wiped it off. So you can see it's yeah. left a nice tint on my hand. Here's the Marc Jacobs liner after I wiped it off. Wow. It did not go anywhere. I'm really excited about these items. And I'm real. I think next time I can have this guy out. This yeah. This will be out. I'm so You're going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish my bite lipstick. You are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish that. Mm, the mascara will be out. For right. Sure. Uh, I'm going to try to hit goal on one of these liquid, one of these eyeshadows, either the paint pot or this liquid one. I'm going to try to hit goal. I'm going to try really hard to hit goal on this lipstick too. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see. I think I will hit my goal on this one. I have four uses to go. I'll finish this. Mm -hmm. I will finish my uses on Hula. And I may have this done. Probably. I can see myself yeah. finishing that. And I don't think I'll have anything else finished. Well, that's good. It yeah. looks like we're gonna we're both gonna have some good goals hit next time. I think so. Yay! Oh, and I'm gonna I will hit pan in that eyeshadow. My, my oh, that's right. You will. Yeah. yeah, you will. Say bye, Ziggy. He's out. Say, Say bye, bye midnight. Guys. Bye, Midnight. Look in the camera. He's so cute. He's like, stop it, Mom. Whatever. Whatever. That's it. That's our update. Whoop, whoop. Well, that is going to be it today for Valerie and I. We are super excited about the things we are rolling in, as you can tell. And we are excited to use them over the next month. So anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will see you next time. Bye. See you in the new year. Whoop, whoop. Happy new year, guys. Happy new year. Okay, you ready? We're live, people. We're live. We're ready to go. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Work those shimmies out. I am trying to figure out how to pronounce this brand. I think it's just Roman. Romand? Romand? It's, so, it's uh, just before I show it to everybody else. So, it's R-O-M ampersand N D. So, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Rome and mm. And for sure, my top three picks from this brand are... Hey guys, it's the... Rome and... and Romand, which is probably... Romand. They're just being cheeky with their ampersand. Rome and... and. <laughs> Rome and... and. Just do one, two, three. Okay, bye. Okay. okay.
Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're just going to go with that one. <laughs> okay. It's way off, but that's okay. I think I think I figured out what the problem is. I'm on a delay. Yes. What happens if you say one, two, three, and you say okay, and I say bye at the same time? Oh, okay. Let's try that. Okay.